Hi everybody. We're going to learn about observations and how to make some good ones here in biology. So there are two kinds of observations. One is qualitative and one is quantitative. So the difference between these two, it the words look so similar, but what you have to remember is if you look up here, quantity means like a number, okay? So when you look at qualitative, it means no numbers. It's like the opposite. And it describes with facts. Quantitative means that there are numbers involved. You're counting, you're measuring, So if we look at this tarantula, qualitative observations, can you think of anything that would describe that tarantula without using numbers? Okay, now that you've had time to think about it, how about these, the spider is hairy and the spider is brown. So we didn't use any numbers there, but we're describing it and it is facts. Okay, so now quantitative, I want you to think about, all right, this, this tarantula, how could I do counting or measuring and make observations? Try and think of two. Okay, so the spider has eight legs, that's counting, it has a number, and the spider is 12.3 centimeters long. So if you were actually sitting there with the spider, you could measure it. You could also measure some other things with it. I'm not gonna say anything right now because you have to think of some things for your notes there. Okay, so here's a picture of this underwater uh, sea of animals. We've got fish, we've got the sea turtle, we've got some coral there. And you've got to think about, okay, what kind of qualitative, without numbers, observations could you make? And what kind of qua quantitative, with numbers, could you make? Okay, an inference is something different, okay? Some people make inferences and think it's an observation, but it's not really. An inference means that it's an observation, but you're using your prior knowledge, like something you've known in the past, and you come up with a conclusion, okay? So this picture, think about your prior knowledge about cats and vases that are broken, okay? And there's a table there. So what kind of inference could you make about that cat and the vase? Okay, so the vase broke because the cat tipped it off the table. Oops. Here is another one that is just some kids with a school bus. And in this one, you're going to look at it and make an inference about it into your notes again. Okay, have a wonderful day.